Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I will do an interpreting, simultaneous interpreting. And by the way, my name is Adi Fazani Pratama and Darso, and I'm from class 5A. And the title of the video that I'm going to interpret is Pendidikan Karakter Dimulai Dari Paud by Nadim Makarim. And I will play the video, the source video from my laptop. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started into the video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Greetings. Nama budaya. Om swastiastu. Greetings of future. How are you, everyone? Wow, amazing. Thank you, dear Prof. Neti Herawati. Chairman of Himbaudi, Mrs. Gurmawirta, Fasli Jalal, Advisor of Himbaudi and Director General of Early Childhood Education and Digmas. How many days have you been here? I have a confession. I am a Pau teacher. It is true that I can't be called as a school teacher because I can't possibly say that I am an elementary middle high school teacher but I am a PAU teacher why why am I a PAU teacher because I have a child one still one years old and the second is two years old both of them are girls and almost every night, almost every night, before they go to sleep, I read them books every night. Can they read? Not they not. Do they understand a hundred percent of the story? Not really. They are still two years old. But they are listening, they are interacting, they are looking at the pictures and they are hearing my voice and imagining it in the brain. Even my one year old is focused, she is listening to words that she may not understand. But there is a rhythm, there is a dynamic is going on and this is a lesson. That's what happened when not only Pau teachers, but also parents also participate in children's education. Isn't that right? I've always been confused. Why do so many parents feel that education is the responsibility of the school or the teacher alone? This is not true. Parents is the first teacher. Well, in my opinion, all levels of teachers who struggles the most to involve parents in their children's education are PAU teachers. I like to imagine how great this country will be if more parents behave like a teacher and more teachers behave like a parents. Do you agree? Let me repeat once again. How advanced Indonesia would be if there are more parents that behave more like a teacher and more teachers behave like a parents. Of all teachers, who is the teachers behave the most like a parent? It's Pau teacher. Here are some things I would like to say. The first is early childhood education. 
power education has the greatest impact on humans. Good investment in education at the beginning of the student level is in the golden years, 0 to 5 years old. That has the greatest impact on the child's future, it must be believed. And we as Kamendikbud started to believe this because the research is very strong. The evidence is very strong. There are so many misperceptions in the community that Pawud is only for playing. Pawud is only a place like they care. There are also groups that think that Pawud should only be focused on Chalisto only. So that's the important thing. But in fact, Pawud is a place where children's character development education begins. And that's the most important thing. Because character education and cognitive abilities are inseparable. If the child is formed with discipline, ethic and morality, and the ability to get along with everyone, they can learn all the things for his for their future. One thing that I will emphasize, I think in my opinion, there should be more elementary, junior high, high school teachers and even lecturers should come to pout frequently and learn from it. Why? Why do I say that? Is it weird? Why? Because in my opinion, I think learning to be a good teacher is most visible at the PAUD level. Why? Because at the PAUD level, a teacher cannot hide their competence. Is that right? With children aged 3, 4, 5, if you don't listen to the child, the child will run away playing in the corner of the room. The ability to engage and have an interaction is an incredibly difficult and complex. All PAUD teachers do it every day. But it is said it is to be easier than teachers at other levels. And that's not true. I think it's the hardest part of being a PAUD teacher. Then I say why do they have to study and enter PAUD class? Because I think a lot of knowledge from PAUD is lost when the teacher teaches older children many spiritual relationships are no longer continued with the child is more mature <laughs> spiritual relationship the concept of play suddenly disappears at the next level why whereas children learning the ability of children to work together the ability of children to enjoy learning have an extraordinary relationship with play. So the concept of playing is a way for children to learn in groups. And that's an ordinary thing. Namely the concept of learning while playing. Learning by doing. And who else have been fighting for this if it's not Pau teacher? The second best thing we can learn from our teacher is how to involve parents in student learning. 
early childhood teacher, PAU teacher will not hesitate to invite parents to the PAU class. Early childhood teachers will not hesitate to give recommendations on things that can be done to improve emotional abilities, social skills, characters, and cognitive abilities of a child. And that must be done by all by all teachers, elementary, junior high, high school teachers. Why is that important? Because education is the responsibility of all of us. The responsibility of the parents, the responsibility of teachers, the responsibility of students, and the responsibility of the government and the community cannot be thrown into one instance only. All, more, all work must be done together to make the concept of independent learning and superior human resources. Pau teacher, like whether they like it or not, they must create a situation for children to develop for children to develop his holistically, not only cognitive but character, not only intellectually but also physically, not only learning alone but learning together. Not only reading books, but also playing. This holistic concept is really suitable for our paradigm of independent learning. I know that all power teachers experience difficulties. I also know in terms of status. In terms of financing, financing and various aspects, or there are difficulties. But please be patient. As you guys know, we are just starting the first breakthrough. Round 1 and round through 2. Please be patient. Please be patient from all of you, the Pau teachers. But it's certain right that in the Ministry of Education and Culture, there is a belief that actually the biggest impact is the earliest intervention. Even though the result will be felt in the next 10 or 15 years later. Thank you, early childhood teachers, for your struggles. Please teach your lessons and inspiration for teachers at a higher level. And please give Indonesia and share it on your social medias about what it means to be free to learn. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, so I think that's all from me. Uh, well, okay, so see you guys on next video. Thank you.